Previously on Project MX5. I'm actually pleasantly surprised under here. Oh, sugar. We've got oh, quite a lot of rust going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I've brought Phil to MX5 specialist Scuzzle Motorsport for some slight emergency surgery. You see, he's got a bit of a rust issue and Scuzzle owner Nick has agreed to save Phil from the scrapyard. Phil is going to get New rear wings and new sills, you can see there. Time to fix Phil. And uh, Nick very delicately came over with a uh, screwdriver, scratched the hell out of the arch there to say, yeah, that's where the new uh, arch is going. And he also stabbed the hell out of Phil, so there's uh, even more holes in it than there was. Kind of, kind of cut me deep as well when he was doing that. So which areas of the car are worse affected? Well, the wings are buggered and the sills are made out of cheese, so there's not a lot left on Phil that you'd actually call healthy. In fact, it's fair to say that my car is completely f What needs to happen then is for all of the rust to be cut out, new rear three quarter panels and sills from Moss to be fitted, and for metal plates to be fabricated from scratch. We're talking a massive scale rust repair here. When that's all in place, the car needs to be sealed, smothered with filler, smoothed out and then painted. To get started, Scuzzle Mechanic Mark strips the MX-5 and delicately gets to work with the angle grinder. You've outlined where you're going to be cutting yeah. and you've just picked up an angle grinder and you just, uh, you, you look excited. Well yeah, you get to cut it out. Have you, have you, done, this, have you done this before? Yes. On an MX-5? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Before you do that, it'll only be for a little while, Phil. So we've just taken the uh, inner linings off here at the rear and as you can see there are fist sized holes. Now my mum taught me that anything you can fist is bad so uh, these holes here are quite bad so they're going to need a lot of looking at. So I can effectively just go straight through there and then just touch in the middle just like that. So just explain to me why, why are you now cutting along there. Basically we're going to cut along there so you can tell whether whether the inner arch is alright or not. Okay. If the inner arch is fine... We'll oh, so it's, it's a double skin obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's, it's okay. double skins on there. And if the inner arch is fine, what we'll do is we'll drill out the spot welds here yeah. and just drop that off. If the inner arch needs replacing as well, obviously we'll just cut straight through okay. it. So the inner and outer arch are That's attached separate. with spot yeah, welds? Yeah, there's the spot welds all the way up. So this is quite delicate then, isn't it, for you to yeah. cut? Yeah. So good luck. Yeah. With Phil looking worse for wear, it becomes clear that the inner arches have also been eaten by rust, which adds to the list of things to do. Oh yeah, and the seatbelt mount has also been hit too, so there's another thing to get sorted. Nick's doing some unscrewing of something. The other side is completely unrecognisable. It's a bit like that character from Spider-Man, Batman. And now, Nick, What's happening? Well, the rust in the seal carries on right up the front. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of leaves and mud and stuff trapped in down yeah. here. Um, so that's all rusted through from there as well. So we're just going to take everything apart and yeah. throw the whole seal away and start again. So out of 10, how much are you enjoying yourself today? Uh, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> So uh, on the right hand rear side of Phil, you'll see that the rust is, is it, would you say that's worse than the other side? Uh, I mean that's I'm just, side, yeah. okay, but that's already quite bad and um, interestingly owner Nick said that had I been just a punter off the street he would have told me to scrap the car because it would be uneconomical to repair. I know that Phil can pull through, um, he's having major surgery at the moment, lots of skin grafts to come but he's going to be fine. And then you'll see, then you'll eat your words. There was a question mark over what the state of the sills were. Now we've had a bit of a look, uh, just put a torch 
down there and the rust, surface rust on the inside goes about six or seven inches about up to here. Now that will probably be the same case at the front, in which case it would probably be uneconomical to cut this seal out here, cut it out at the front and then to replace these parts with their own parts. Uh, I've got a seal replacement kit here from Moss, so uh, what uh, Boss Nick has decided to do is literally to cut down here, take the spot welds out, fold it down, get rid of this, uh, this old sill and then replace it with this and then I'll be left with beautiful new sill and no more rust. So it's now cracking on for five o'clock. Nick and Mark are behind me. They are cutting and they are grinding. They're getting rid of uh, crap like that. I just spoke to Nick again and uh, he's not best pleased with the state of the car. He's, I think he's kind of angling for me to say, okay, I'm gonna call it. Let's throw Phil in the bin, but it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna say goodbye to Phil yet. In 10 years time, he is gonna be worth millions. I think I've kind of convinced the guys to just keep on ploughing on so the sill is coming out, rust is being cut and uh, what was going to be a one day job is probably looking at a four day job. So for all the MX-5s everywhere that are rusted to shit, this is for you. So it's the end of day one, it's approximately 6.30 in the evening. Uh, we've been at Scuzzle all day long. Nick and Mark have been doing a styling job, cutting and drilling, and I've been doing a bit of drilling as well. But this is the result. This is what Phil now looks like. He looks completely buggered. Um, doors are off, wings off, and yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot more rust than anyone anticipated. Um, but it's gonna be fine, because Phil's gonna be back on the road. He's gonna be looking awesome and this new sill will be going on tomorrow. So the next time you see this, the sill will be on and it'll be looking something like that. So a little less daunting with that on. So what Nick and Mark have got left to do is to cut out the rest of this rot and then fabricate plates, make all this good because it's all just a mishmash of just absolute crap. So that's it, sayonara, see you tomorrow. Day two of saving Phil from the scrapyard reveals how time-consuming cutting rust out really is, mainly because there's so damn much of it. Right, so Nick, it's day two of the build yep. of the rust repair, the epic rust repair that you thought was gonna be small, but it's massive. Uh, what are you up to now? Um, I'm just fabricating up some bits to replace the rust that's fallen out. Yeah, so that's, um, that's all been bent by you and made by your yeah. fair hands. So this part is gonna go like so, is it? Yeah, it's gonna basically sit inside there like that. Yeah. Um, we've got to make a, a lip up off that edge and, and weld it along there first, and then make up this section in the back, which then comes down here somewhere, and, and then get all that done so it's one piece. Yeah. And then when you've got it as one bit, you can just drop it in a hole, weld it on, and you've created that section. So as simple as that, and then all good metal. And then this uh, will have something to sit on eventually. Yeah. That's the plan. Later, Scuzzle owner Nick cuts up sheet metal that he'll shape into new pieces and weld into place. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon to check on progress. So uh, I've just got off the telephone with uh, Nick from Scuzzle and he originally told me that uh, the repair job for Phil was going to take four days and he reckons it's going to be closer to two weeks minimum. Two weeks minimum. So uh, I'm going to be without Phil for two weeks. I'm not going to be going back because I'll just be getting in everyone's ways and I've actually got work to do. I actually have a job. So um, it's very sad times to know that I won't be able to drive I won't be able to have fun, I won't be able to 
make use of this beautiful weather and just get my tan on. So, poor Phil, but um, yeah, he's gonna be cut, ground up, welded, and yeah, he's, he's just not gonna be loved. Two weeks without being loved, two weeks minimum. I'm gonna go for three weeks to be safe. Today is Tuesday morning and I'm on my way to Winchester to Scuzzle Racing to pick up Phil. It's been one month and five days, not that I've been counting, that Phil has been with Scuzzle Racing getting massive, massive, massive rust repaired. It's now five past nine. I will be in Winchester at 10.24 and then I'm going to be reunited. So uh, I, I'm quite excited. The reason that Ethan is not with me is because he is currently editing this video. So it's just me solo. There you have it, made it now in Winchester, on my way with Mr. Mark Ains. Hello. Hello, to uh, Scuzzle Motorsport. What do you do? You work for Scuzzle Motorsport, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've been working on Phil? Yeah, sadly. Yeah. Has it been awesome? No, not really. And now, Phil's completely finished. I'm looking at him right now and he looks awesome. No more rust, no more issues, no more seatbelt mount gonna come out and gonna rip out when I crash it is effectively as good as it was when it came out of the factory do you want to see it all right then How was it? How exciting was it every wow. single day seeing Phil up on the ramp waiting for your love? It was a bit of a bigger problem than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Once I started digging the rust out, it just kept going and going and going. Yeah, there's been moments that have been great. Like when we put that flare on the, the arch at the bottom. Yeah. That, that was pretty good fun. Yeah. But yeah, I don't enjoy rust. I mean, I'm more than happy for you to uh, slap a turbo or a supercharger or throttle bodies on it at some point. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. We'll do that. And yeah. maybe if I've got some more rust, then you know I'll give you a call. No, you can go anywhere you like other than here. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, big shout out also to to Mark. He um, he did a lot of angle grinding, a lot of welding. But uh, yeah, one month and five days, job done. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I'm going to leave you in peace. Cool. Hey, well done. <gasps> no. The, the guy with the yellow supercharged MX-5, the guy who's really butthurt about losing uh, the rev battle, I just asked him if he could tighten up the, um, the bolts on the rocker cover. And then there was a snapping noise and then you sheared one of the bolts.